And by now, most people know that there's this hole that air can just travel right through. But did you know that there's the same thing underneath? In back, some of the coolest features are the brake lights and the turn signal lights. Not quite as cool as the trunk space. Even though the entire hatch opens up, the trunk is confined to this tiny little area in the far back. One of the most interesting features inside the car, if you move the transmission lever over to sport mode, and then you decide, nah, you want to be in eco mode, and you press eco, the transmission lever pops back into drive like some sort of unseen ghost is moving it. Here's another weird quirk. The window doesn't go all the way down. This is as far as it goes. There's about two inches of window still remaining. So you can't really put your elbow up here because it's really uncomfortable. Another cool thing, like most modern BMWs, the i8 has the touch controller pad in the center console. So you don't have to scroll around and click on stuff. Instead, you can just write it and it appears on the screen. One of the quirks is simply getting in the i8. The owner tells me that you're supposed to sit down first, then slide your legs and then close the door. However, the owner also tells me there is no easy way to get in the back seats. <laughs> How do you get out of a BMW i8? Well, there's no door handle. Instead, you press a button and then the door just opens up. And then the gauge cluster shows you a cool little picture to let you know that your door is open. There's also a second door opener in the rear half of the front door, maybe for the rear passengers or in an emergency. I, I don't know. Okay, another thing you might be wondering, I know I am, can you drive around with the doors up? I don't know, let's find out. <laughs> yes, you can. Another cool thing, there's a little channel between the USB port and the center console where you can store your phone. And here's the really cool part, it even works when the lids are closed. The gauge cluster is super cool. It's a full LCD screen. Now when you're in sport, it's red and it gives you your RPMs, Urgh. but then you move it over to comfort and it gives you the percentage power that you're using. Put it in Eco Pro and it limits your percentage power to just 50%, so you get the best possible mileage. Something else I love about the i8, because it has an electric mode, it can drive around and make absolutely no noise at all, like so. You have to admit, it's kind of hilarious to see a vehicle that looks like this driving around with absolutely no noise coming out of any of its orifices. So the i8 has some very unique features, some cool and some weird. But how does it drive? Now it's time to get on the road and find out. And as always, click the link below to check out my column on autotrader.com oversteer for more of my thoughts on the driving experience.